kiddos. This week we are looking at compound probability. Remember when we're talking about probability, we're talking about how many possible outcomes are there and how many outcomes are going to suit what I am looking for or the probability I'm trying to determine. So starting off with outcomes, if I flip a coin, how many outcomes are there? Two, heads or tails. With this spinner, there are eight. There's four on the top, four on the bottom. If you pick a card and roll a die, there are 52 cards. There's six options on the dice. So that is going to give you 58 total options. So 52 cards and six for the dice. If you roll two dice, it is going to give you six and six. So six and six is gonna give you 36 options. Here for a spinner and a card, there's eight on the spinner. Um, for the cards here, we have one, two, three, four, five cards specifically. Eight and five is 40. Let me answer this based on the picture I put. That would probably make more sense for you. So for this, if we have our five cards, and six dice options, 30 total options or outcomes. And then here, coin has two, two dice, six and six is 12. If we multiply those separately like this, two and six is 12, 12 and six is 72. So 72 possible outcomes. Um, when we are doing our compound probability, we need to make sure that we're looking at each outcome separately and multiplying them. All right, looking at the scenario to answer the question below. Mr. Rodriguez is preparing for a job interview. He has eight button-down shirts, three pairs of slacks that he can choose from. How many different outfit combinations can he make? Well, there's eight shirts and three slacks, so a total of 24 different combinations. If you wanted to check this, you could also do a tree diagram. Alicia is making sandwiches for a birthday party. She has five different types of meat and four different types of cheeses. How many sandwiches options can she make? There are 20. Jack is headed to the beach for vacation. He has six swim trunks, four hats, and eight, tf, bleh, eight shirts. I was going to say t-shirts. How many different ways can he style his outfit? Six and four is 24. 24 and eight is 192 different outfit options. Over here, it says Carolyn is rearranging her bookshelf. She has six paperbacks and 10 hardbacks. How many different ways can she arrange her books? There are 60 different ways. James is headed on a road trip. He has eight snacks and five different drink options to choose from. How many different combinations did he bring? There are 40. And then the last one is Carla is headed to the gym. She has two types of sneakers, seven types of yoga pants, and nine tank tops. How many different combinations does she have? Well, two and seven is 14. 14 times nine gives us 126 different options. If you have questions on these, go ahead and bring them with you to class. All right, we're looking at the compound probability for these. So remember, we're looking at the probability of both separate and then multiplying them together to look at the total. So the probability of two coins landing on heads. Well, the probability of this coin landing on heads is one half. Probability of this coin landing on half is one half. So our total probability is one fourth. Probability of getting heads first and tails second when flipping a coin. So if I'm flipping a coin, the probability that I get heads first is one half. The probability that I get tails first or tails second is one half for a total probability of one fourth or a 25% chance. What is the probability of flipping heads and rolling a three? Well, heads, there's a one half chance. Three, there's one three, but there's six options. So the probability is one twelfth. What is the probability of rolling a two and a four on two dice? So the probability for the two is one six. The probability for the four is one six. Total probability is one thirty sixth. What is the probability of spinning a dark gray? There's two out of six. And rolling a one is one out of six. So if I am looking at these together, two times one is two, six and six is 36. So the probability is two out of 36. Last one, probability of spinning a white. 
And there's two whites and there are six options. Landing on tails, one half. Two six times one half gives me two twelfths as my probability. Questions on these? Go ahead and bring them with you to class. All right, continuing to look at compound probability, what is the total number of outcomes? So if I flip a coin five times, I have two outcomes the first time, two outcomes the second time, you get the picture. Five flips, two outcomes each time. Two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is 16, 16 times two, 32 total outcomes. Rolling a dice six, uh, four times, there's six outcomes each time. So six and six gives you 36 times six is 216 times six is 1,296 outcomes. Spinning three times, there's eight outcomes each time. Eight and eight is 64 times eight is 512 total outcomes. Notice we're not talking about what the opportunity is for a certain color. We're just talking about outcomes. Roll a die two times and flip a coin two times. Well, each time I roll the die, there's six outcomes. And each time I flip a coin, there's two outcomes. So I have six and two, six and two. So for each of these, there's gonna be 12 outcomes. So I have 12 times 12. And yes, doing each two times. It's going to be 144. Rolling a die three times and a spinner twice. So the die is six each time. The spinner is eight both times. Your numbers grow very quickly when you have lots of options. So six and six is 36 times six is 216 times eight is 1,728 times eight again is 13,000. 824 different outcomes. Last one, a coin four times. So each one of those has two opportunities. And then the spinner three times. Each one of those has eight opportunities. Again, this is going to grow very quickly. Two and two is four and two is eight and two is 16. Multiplying them now by eight for the spinner is 128, 1,024, 8,192 opportunities or outcomes. Questions on these, as always, bring them to class. All right, this last one, we're answering questions based on a bag of marbles. So you'll see here, there's a bag of 85 marbles. It gives you the breakdown. 50 blue, 15 red, 10 yellow, eight green, and two, yeah, I'm sorry, 10 yellow. I said yellow twice. Um, Let's make this blue, red, yellow, green. Let's say purple. And I will fix that before it gets to you. All right, how likely is it that you're going to pull a blue marble out of the bag? Well, there's 85 in total and 50 of them are blue. This is going to be likely. Looking at the vocabulary um, that is in the classroom, how likely is it that you will pull a yellow marble out of the bag? Well, for yellow, there's 10 out of 85. And we talked about being able to name it based on the percent, right? It's not our opinion. It's a percent. This is going to be about 12%, which means that it's unlikely. Not impossible, but definitely unlikely. How likely is it that you will pick a yellow marble or a green or yellow marble out of the bag? Um, so we have a yellow is 10. And then I'm going to have to change this too because of that. Um, okay, yellow is 10 out of 85, green is 8 out of 85. So are they equally likely? No. Are 10 out of 85 and are 8 out of 85 are both going to end up with percentages that are unlikely. How likely is it that you'll pick an orange marble out of the bag? It's impossible. There are no orange marbles. It's only impossible if it's a 0% chance, and that is definitely impossible. How many more red marbles should be added to the bag to make the chance equally likely as the blue? Well, the blue had 50 out of 85, and our red had 15 out of 85. So if I wanted them to be equally likely, I would need them both to be 50. So if I add 35 
more red marbles, then they would be equally likely. Last one, how would the bag of marbles need to change to make the outcome certain that you would pick a blue marble? All of them would have to be blue. So I would either have to take out all the other marbles um, or just put all of the blue marbles in their own bag. But in order for it to be a um, certain outcome that means 100%, I would have to make sure that they are all blue. Questions, bring them to class.